What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemart visit or video <laughs> where we're going to look at the current state of the Pokemon marketplace. We're going to focus around hidden fates, and then we're going into a new topic. This time we're talking about, I believe these are basically shinies too. We're talking about the gold stars. I wasn't really around during this time. I really wish I was. Um, I feel like it was just a great time in Pokemon where they had just some amazing cards. I wonder if that was one of the lows in the hobby and in turn for cards that are super rare the population uh, is just not that the supply is not that high and as a result these cards are super valuable and uh, some of them super expensive some of them I may never have in my collection so we're gonna talk about those but to start let's get into hidden fates let's take a look we're gonna start at TCG player as always let's narrow it down to just singles and man, you know, I was first I was hesitant to do this video uh, just because it's not hasn't been that long since our last one, but the prices continue to drop. Some of them, I think it's getting close to the point where if you want to complete your collection by picking up some singles, maybe it's low enough. Oh, the 8% the is off of TCG player, but the prices are about in that range where it wouldn't surprise me if there's not much more for it to fall. But let's take a look. Um, actually, we'll evaluate that statement because I, I was just looking through here. So Charizard down to 390. We have definitely under the $400 mark, and that is great. I feel like the price is super inflated still, and still has some way to go. If I had to guess what the bottom might be, it'll, it'll probably take some time for it to continue to trickle down. But my guess would be 200. I feel like that's nice in the middle between Reshizard, which is was speculated to be the next big rainbow rare but then um you know just not as good as burning shadows which i think is like around 250 and then uh the unbroken bonds rush Zard is about like 160 i think right now we'll double check uh so that would be my guess i think that makes sense in my head but yeah we have some for 390 uh the eight percent thing is gone but next time that comes in like wherever this thing's at might be a good time to pick it up but again that would be my speculation on where we'll end up let's take a look at some other ones cynthia down to 67 i think this one still has a way to go especially once cynthia rotates which i'm not sure when that is exactly but then i think this thing would basically i don't know half uh let's see tapu lele this thing says 26 that's what i mean by like all right maybe now's the time but i wonder if that's kind of like an outlier yeah, we do have one at 26. Okay, this is light played. Your mints are still around 30 in the 30s. So uh, I don't think that's bad. I do think it'll continue to go down though, but not much. I feel like for this thing to go under like 25, low 20s, I feel like that's very unlikely. And when we're talking like movement of, uh, you know, five or less, I feel like that's about the range, at least for myself. Speaking like, all right, it's time for me to complete the collection. I think I can pick these up as singles. Shrine of Punishment, 28. I think this thing, as the Celestial Storms, I think this whole thing will be legal till the next set of rotation. Uh, post rotation, probably go down. Is that right? Celestial Storm. Uh, Tapu Fini, and then these guys, kind of like similar. I doubt they'll go below 20, but, uh, you know, if they were never that good to begin with. Uh, and then we have the Evolutions, the Mewtwo. Uh, I think that those ones will continue to go down a little bit if they were to go below 20 like I would be surprised though and uh, Yeah, we'll, we'll wrap it up with there. Let's go into eBay to look at some specifics and uh, Let's see hidden bait shiny Charizard. What are you going at right now? The PSA 10s I feel like are about like a thousand low um, uh, and then a couple hundred more I think so we'll, we'll take a look at soul listings the VGS 10 pristines are this is not the black label, but uh, BGS 10s looks like you can still pick them up for 1200 I feel like at this point, uh, I don't know the exact intricacies between PSA and BGS, but I feel like BGS is stricter, at least like for competing 10s, not the black label. And let's see, how cheap can you pick up? So eBay is lagging behind, uh, which is not that surprising. The bet, uh, slowest buy it now looks like 550 uh, We have a 500 one. That's a metal card. <laughs> That thing's been fooling me for a while. Uh, let's go to buy it now. Newest listed. That's kind of like how I like to view things. Oh wow, 388. But all right, let's take a look at how things have been going in recently sold ones. So yeah, that uh, BGS 10, yeah, 1200, 365. That's 
that's pretty low. Uh, 1150 for PGS 10, same thing. So about 1100s for like the 10s, uh, and that includes PSA. Oh, PSA is like 12. Actually, that that kind of makes sense. If I had to pick between two, most of my stuff is PSA, and unless one is actually just straight up better than the other, which I'm not sure. 430, ooh, 700, 700. Wow. Uh, 375. Let's just see if there's any super low ones. I don't really see any. So yeah, it looks like three. Oh, 350. So yeah, we're starting to hit that like in the solid 300s. Uh, but yeah, my guess will be it'll continue to go down to 280. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, whoever picked that up. Um, oh, it was me. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, if you do pay attention, it'll go down. And to be honest, like I said before, 280, I doubt, is the bottom either. So sometimes it's good to just keep a tab open and you refresh every once in a while. Cynthia, let's take a look at you. My guess is that this one will be a slow trickle down until post-rotation, and then it'll be more accessible. And uh, let's just take a look here. Oh, okay, some 40s and stuff like that. Not that exciting. At this point, Shrine, you can pick up for in the 20s. I think that's perfectly fine with me and if you're patient you can get a little bit cheaper but at this point like for a really good card you know the fluctuations aren't going to be that much anymore Lele oh, okay that must be a pack fresh well oh wait no this is a uh, I did not set this up correctly but yeah I think we're getting close to the bottom for a lot of stuff uh, if you're if you're like picky about it and you're patient um, and then kind of like the rest of the sellers will kind of I think merge into some level all right actually these are pretty expensive so on ebay uh sold listings wow okay yeah 30 and i can't i don't see this going too much lower than that maybe 25 but then post rotation will solidify around there but all right so that's the hidden fate stuff um we're not going to go into sealed stuff even though i feel like that has like the biggest price inflation uh in my opinion actually we've been debating about this with a couple people and uh, to be honest, that, that's a lot of fun just to debate that kind of stuff whether it's on discord or youtube but the i'm going to maintain this strong very strong opinion that you know under no circumstance do i recommend ever paying more than msrp i know there's a lot of options and there's sometimes there aren't that many options for msrp but in my opinion the supply will continue to come for years and years uh you can still buy off of like as easy as amazon shining legend stuff for less than 50 dollars, which was the msrp so the supply will just keep coming until people are satisfied. Um, as far as it flooding, I think it'll just be a steady rate for now and for years to come. So, you know, as tempting as it may be to spend an extra $20 for the ETB, like, I just don't think it's worth it. So, in my opinion, if you're patient, it'll eventually get there. Uh, obviously, though, I've not had trouble. So, you know, it's a different. I'm not exactly in your shoes. But let's go into the topic that i really want to hit which is the gold stars and for those not familiar let's see this set is unseen forces and we'll start with that one we have three gold stars that is the legendary cats cats <laughs> and uh let the argument begin down below but we have entei suicune and raiko what actually this is really useful webs oh boy i'm not even showing all right we're at <laughs> pkmncards.com and you can kind of like filter by whatever set you're looking at and the nice thing is it actually shows you some tcg players prices as well i wonder how accurate this is well that's pretty cool 70 and uh low medium high actually i'm not sure how this works maybe this is for like near mint or something uh but we'll just we'll run with this information Ente. so if you do want to pick some raw ones off tcg player anywhere from one oh light no, I have no idea. Low, medium, high for near mint, maybe. Um, but on the top end of 225, and then for like $100, you could probably pick up a pretty good copy. Ryko's a little bit cheaper. I don't really know the story behind these guys. I feel like I heard some people talking about that at some point someone flooded the market with like PSA 10s, and that kind of drove these prices lower. And that's kind of like why maybe these ones are more affordable. I don't know the details. I just heard something like that. But, uh, Maybe this is a good entry point for gold stars if you want to get into it. Uh, for under $100, a really cool card. Uh, I mentioned that these are kind of shiny. These don't look that shiny. A lot of them do, though. 
All right, let's go into Team Rocket Returns. This one, I am still working on completing this set. I believe I have Mudkip both in Raw and uh, PSA and still working on the Torchic and Trico. Trico seems to be potentially affordable though. Maybe we'll pick him up next, at least on the Raw side. Well, that's a mod play though. I don't want a mod play. <laughs> All right, but yeah, to these two, these ones are really cool from this set. Uh, and these ones also don't appear to be shiny. So I was incorrect about the shiny part, but uh, these gold stars are really cool. So basically each set kind of had like a handful and this was during the EX era. And I don't know the pull rates, but someone told me, I think it was like one out of every two boxes, which is, that's pretty rare. Um, TX rating 42, I don't know what that means. But uh, yeah, very cool cards. Uh, in my opinion, these are kind of like when we talked about like the Neo shinies and stuff like that. Just, you know, will always be a desired card and people will always be chasing these. So I feel like these are cards that are kind of guaranteed to if you're concerned about like, you know, value going up. I feel like these are pretty safe bets as long as you don't overspend on them. And uh, let's see, we also have Latios and Latias. I believe we have La we have Latios. Um, in PSA 8. Latias, we still have yet to pick up, but it looks like that one might be the cheaper of the two, so that's probably very doable. And then, I don't know why this guy is so expensive, but this Red Claws does look awesome, and this does, does this is the shiny variety, and my gosh, this card is so expensive. I don't know why. You know, you look at, like, ones that are, like, folded in half on, like, eBay, and it's still, still, like, super high price. Like, Here's, yeah, you can buy this now, $400 for a card that's been ripped up and taped back together. <laughs> like, what? So I do not have a Rayquaza yet. I'm not sure if I'll ever get one. One interesting, look at these guys have double resistance. That's I've never seen that before. Um, but yeah, super expensive card. Don't have it. Maybe one day. Maybe not. <laughs> and this is from Deox uh, Deoxys DX. Let's keep moving on. Then we have some other legendaries. These are shinies once again. We have Groudon and Kyogre. I feel like these ones are kind of overlooked. And I'm not really sure why. It was in a very cool set, Delta Species. Is there more of this? Oh, maybe it's because there's just... Uh, and then we also have Metagross shiny. Um, so we got Kyogre and uh, Groudon. Yeah, these ones looks like they are pretty cheap compared to the others. I'm not sure if that's a supply thing or if they're just not as cool, which... I would agree they're <laughs> not as cool. And then we have Metagross. Um, actually, surprising, the Metagross is more expensive. Uh, the Metagross in that silver form for the shiny. Very cool. These ones, I think I have all of them raw and none of them in PSA. So looking to pick those up one day. Um, as far as shinies go, I, these ones are also pretty cheap. Uh, we have, so this is Legend Maker. And we have Regice, which I actually showed off a picture in um, the Discord not too long ago. Reggie Rock and Reggie Steel. I think if you wanted to pick these up, you could probably get them for. Let's just take a look. Yeah, less than $100 for a mod play if you just want it in your binder collection, which I think everyone's collection should have these or some of these gold stars especially these ones that are not that uh that are easier to pick up obviously psa will be a little bit more expensive but yeah these guys are solid pickups we're still not hitting these ones aren't the crazy expensive ones and i think these will slowly go up alakazam that feels kind of random pretty cool celebi as well for crystal guardians so just to and this is what I mean, like, during this whole EX era, there's not, like, oh, every ultra rare gets a, you know, like, today, rainbow variety and alternate arc. These ones are, I have no idea what the methodology is, but, um, sure, Alakazam, sure, Celebi, Gold Stars, uh, maybe this is what a shiny Alakazam looks like. It doesn't look any different, but this Celebi does look shiny, or it's, it's red instead of, um, yeah, Celebi's kind of different colors, but definitely not red normally. And, um... Yeah, these ones also don't look too expensive, I feel like, because they're not the most exciting Pokemon. Although Alexander's cool, but for something as highly sought after as Gold Stars, it's feels it feels somewhat one-off after like all these like legendary Pokemon. Uh, but if you're good with the mod play, it looks like they're pretty affordable considering how old these cards are. Same thing for Celebi. Let's keep moving. There's a lot of these as you can tell. Gyarados, this is definitely a very cool one. Um, Shiny Gyarados, again, you know, the OG. 
yeah, at this point, well, not this one, but, uh, and this is probably one of the cooler Gyaradoses I feel like came kind of like to fruition pretty early on. This red Gyarados from that Golden Magikarp, very cool. Uh, let's just see what these guys are rolling at. I believe at these, this point, these ones are pretty expensive. I think now we're getting to the territory of ones that are always sought after. We'll take a look at some PSA stuff as well. Mewtwo Gold Star, another really cool one. I believe this is the first shiny Mewtwo, and I feel like the prices do reflect that. Mod play for 150. Pikachu, I believe this is the shiny, although it's hard to tell because it's Pikachu and he's just kind of like oranger. <laughs> this Pikachu is really cool, and the prices reflect that. I don't think I have this in PSA. I believe I, I have Gyarados and Mewtwo. I don't have Pikachu. I believe I have a raw version of Pikachu. It's like folded in half. <laughs> And we're still going. There's so many. Um, but boom, there he is. Big boy Charizard. And look at these prices. This guy is not cheap. Um, oh, stay tuned to the end. We have something really cool to show off. But mod play for 280. Oh my. And then a shiny Mew as well. If you ever wonder what shiny Mew, I think it's blue. That's not what I meant to do. Let's see how much it costs to pick up a raw shiny Mew. 130 for a mod play. Yikes. That is expensive. But uh, Dragon Frontiers. If you ever look up like how much it costs to pick up a pack of Dragon Frontiers and why is it so godly high, it's because of these two guys, even though you have super low chance of actually pulling it. But uh, one, one cool thing is this is during the Delta Species era as well. So not only is it shiny, but it's also like the type. Um, although the type, they just seem to match with the color. So the you, this is a dark... Uh, dark type Charizard and then a water type Mew. Very cool. Uh, let's see, Power Keepers. I don't know the story for these ones, why these ones are cheap, but uh, the Evolutions, very affordable. And so if you're, you know, if you're a big Evolution fan, I know there's a lot of you out there. Uh, you don't have these guys in your collection. This one I would recommend picking up. Um, you know, if it's between, oh, I can pick up three Hidden Fates Raw cards or a Gold Star, I was like, pick up the Gold Star one. You know, these prices ain't going down much. Uh, I can't imagine these things will go down compared to the Hidden Fates one. We'll continue to do so, in my opinion. And uh, these cards just look amazing. Where's the last one? There's Flareon. Uh, I believe I have all these in PSA. None of them 10 or anything like that. I think like eight or nine tops. And then this, these two. So. This is Pop Series 5. I think Troll and Toad has them on sale right now. I don't know if it's a sale, but it costs $105 for a two-pack card. The thing about Pop Series is they believe they gave them out for tournaments. They come with two cards in them. I think there's a 17-card set. And they inserted some gold stars. So the crazy thing about these ones, it's very hard to pull. Not only that, but like you, the interesting thing about this is that they're non hollow which also meant that the, car, the packs weren't weighable, which was a great idea, in my opinion. But... Uh, Espeon and Umbreon. These ones are super expensive. Let's just take a look. Oh my, six fifty for Espeon in its lowest, and no, no prices. One total price. What? Four hundred and fifty dollars for a damaged Umbreon. This might be also with that Rayquaza. Maybe just gold stars that never make it to my collection, but. Uh, yeah, those are cool. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Oh, okay, so we did pull up. Oh, no, we have Umbreon and Espeon pulled up specifically. Uh, we just look at the image just to see how they're going for PSA. Let's see, the 10s. Oh, my, $2,000 for the 10s. Let's, right, let's get rid of that. <laughs> All right, oh, my gosh, even 1000 for the 9, uh, even at its lowest. Eh, 500, that was a long time ago. And... Uh, even eight is getting close to that thousand dollar mark. So these guys are super expensive. Do I need to make this larger so you guys can actually see the screen? And then if you go down as far as five, we're still looking. So yeah, these two, you know, maybe they won't enter my collection. But like you can look at this pop. So like 150 between eight and nine, and then only 38. So so few. Um, yeah. So like these. These two specifically, yeah, just very hard to pick up. If you want to take a shot at it, it'll cost you $100, although you only get two cards in that pack. Even PSA 5, ooh, 6. Oh, that was, that was quite a while ago. And yeah, you can see they're, they're not even on sale very often. So very cool cards. 
Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of breeze over them because uh, they're kind of out of our range. All right, for this set, let's see. Gold stars. Um, actually, let's go. Let's bring this down to. Uh, we'll, we'll do nine. You know, I feel like nine is kind of what I aspire for specifically. And for most of these, they're probably pretty somewhat reasonable considering how old the card is. So you can get the Evolutions PSA 9. The last sold were for um, under 200. So yeah, that's probably at least what I would go for. Like if we just, uh, sorry, we're going back and forth a lot. We'll just click into Jolteon. There's only 10 or 60 tens, 65. And so the tens would be, you know, over almost triple the price. So that's why we'll probably steer clear of those. EX Dragon Frontiers. Let's see what we have for these guys. Oh boy, these are the heavy hitters. Mew and Charizard. Uh, let's let's go into both of these. We'll go quick. Sorry this episode's going quite long. Yeah, if you want a Charizard, you're looking at well over a thousand. Actually, the interesting thing is that the prices have gone down. You don't see that very often, but uh, you know, there's only a handful of sold a year, and the prices have declined. That is very interesting. I'm curious what the rationale behind that is. All right, and then so I feel like these these cards you can see like there's a lot of highs and lows i wonder if that's because every once in a while someone super famous is like hey look at these gold stars and then like things will things will skyrocket and let's see when this was 2019 uh okay so i'm curious what this dip was all about so psa 9 wow you can 200 i kind of find that hard to believe we're looking at mew not charizard <laughs> um but yeah 300 for a PSA 9, that's still kind of high. All right, if we drop down to 8, we're looking at the 200s. Go down a little further. Yeah, but the problem is there's not that many of these. So a super rare card. Uh, seems like the spike is around that PSA 9. And then, oh my. Okay, so we have about like 400 PSA 9 and 10s and then another 180 for 8s. Let's see how these ones cost. $3,000 at the higher end of five that's a huge variance uh you know like almost 40 percent difference but uh yeah three thousand dollars for a gold star charizard yeah no i don't know about that okay if we if you drop down the nine dollars <laughs> significantly less uh we're gonna have to click off a few of these uh 400 geez all right if you go down to five <laughs> You can get it for like the 200s. Oh man, this, uh, for that reason, like, yeah, I don't know if it's just for special occasion, but if you can PSA one, just to have it, sure, maybe. I have some raw ones I picked up off of eBay, I think for probably about like mid 100s, I would probably get, you know, five at best. So to be honest, this might be one of those cards that's still worth picking up raw just because of how like inflated these prices are. Like, to get a 6 off of eBay, you know, not graded yet, uh, you just have to be careful you don't get, like, fake or something like that. Um, and then get it graded yourself. I wonder if these are one of the few cards that's still worth it. Do it. It'll be rare. You have to be patient. You have to check every day. But I think it is possible. And, uh, all right, we're, we're going kind of slow. This video is super long. So, um, Alakazam. All right, so these are just 10 Celebi Alakazam. We should do 9, though. If anything at least i would pick up nine and i feel like nine is kind of like the sweet spot that's usually where the spike is for like supply so 255 for those guys holland phantoms we got all right these ones are pretty cool uh thousand for the gyarados not surprising then me too pikachu around 700 for psa 10 let's go to nine all right then we're looking at mid 200s and these are all the last sales whoa 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 Let's go to eight. And then under 200 for the eights. And actually, I think that's pretty good for these cards that are super heavily sought after to pick up PSA 8, which is near mint to mint. So you're still looking at a very good condition card. Legend Maker. Uh, gold Stars. All right. So they're a little kind of all over the place, to be honest. But I bet if we go to nine, it'll be pretty significant low. Or right, under 200 for nines for the rocks. Delta Species. What are we looking at? Groudon, Kyogre, ooh, 1,000, that must be pretty low supply, and if you drop it down to a 9, we're looking at 200, so 8 would probably be under 200, Unseen Force, oh, there's a lot of unknowns, 
Gold Stars, Umbreon, oh no, Entei, Raikou, Suicune. Um, this is 10, so these ones aren't too bad. Again, there's some situation, I'm not familiar with the details, where someone flooded the market. There's speculations that they're part, they somehow were inside and, you know, didn't have to crack packs to get them and had a bunch of them. EX Deoxys, what we got here? Oh, oh god. Here's the Rayquaza. We're going into this one. Yeah, so Latios, Latios, I think uh, for 10, obviously super expensive, but even for a 9, still looking at quite, quite high. Let's go to 8. All right, 8, probably you have to go down to 7 before you get like even close to like $200 mark, but let's go into this guy. All right, only 43 10s and then 133 9s. My gosh, that's so low supply. Did like no one open this set or something? $8,000 for the 10? Look at this huge gap. You go down one grade. Oh, you're still in the thousands. Yeah, I'm not sure if this one will enter my collection. Um, and I'm not sure if that's kind of high too. Maybe six is my entry point. <laughs> uh, maybe one. <laughs> PSA one for $200. All right, Rayquaza, sure. One day. No, maybe not. Uh, for these guys, uh, let's go down to eight. I believe my Mudkip is eight. And that was still 400. Uh, so that may be a entry point for myself. Lower for if obviously for if that's still too high. And then did we already go over these ones? Um, so yeah, uh, apologies is a super long video, but Gold Stars was a very cool time. I wonder if just people in Pokemon was just at an all-time low. The prices seem to reflect that, but I do want to show off the newest card in my collection as far as gold stars go, and I'm super happy to pick this up. It is the, sh oh boy, that's that's a lot of glare, but it is a Gold Star Charizard PSA 9, and it, this doesn't do it justice, <laughs> but I was super happy to pick it up. Uh, the seller was awesome. He sent me like, it's like, oh yeah, have have this card too for free. It's uh, from the Neo era. This Gengar is super cool, and that glare is not doing it justice, so sorry about that, but um Gold stars, guys, uh, more expensive than shinies as far as I can tell, and some of them are absolutely insane, but there are very good entry points, uh, you know, some like these these Reggie guys, these uh, legendary cats, um, yeah, so for some good entry points, and then, yeah, then from there, it's a tough climb up till you get to these uh, Charizards, Rayquazas, and stuff like that, where the thing's off the charts. Um, those Pop Series 5 ones, Probably never for me, but uh, we can dream, we can hope. But uh, yeah, sorry for the long episode. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. If there's another topic you would like me to cover, let me know. I'm a Wanna Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time.